Hi guys, I wanted to come on for a second and talk about the power and talk about prevision. Not pro, not provision, um, but prevision. But like seeing who you are, who God made you to be before, before it comes to pass. Um, my pastor um, always says, if you don't see it before you see it, when you see it, you won't see it. Which means if you don't have a vision of your life, of who you are supposed to be, before it comes to pass, you won't recognize it. It'll, it will just go by. And the Lord says to somebody today watching this, He says, write the vision. He says, write the vision, make it, make it plain so that you, you can run with it. And like a lot of people think vision is just for the future. But vision is actually for the um, present as well. So where do you see yourself going today in this moment, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your heart? Um, where, do you, where do you, can you see yourself coming out of your current situation? Can you see yourself healed? Can you see yourself getting that promotion? Can you see your, yourself living God, God's ultimate life for you? And he so wants you to live with your prevision in mind, with where you're going in mind. And he also wants you to live in the present too. Like, not just where you're going, but where you are now. How can you you make things better right now where you are? He says, um, attitude. Because sometimes we don't realize that attitude is what's killing us. Our negative thoughts, our negative attitudes, our negative thoughts about ourselves and other people. Uh, the way we speak about ourselves and other people is what's killing us. So part of that pre-vision is what can you change now to make that vision possible? And he says, um, there are some attitudes that you need to change, some thoughts about yourself, some thoughts about myself that I need to change. Um, and he also says, write the vision. And um, um, he's asking me to instruct anyone who wants to to get a journal, get a book, get a get something, and write the vision down. Not even the vision. Write what he's speaking to you on a daily basis, um, because. His thoughts are not your thoughts. And sometimes we don't even realize that God is speaking to us when he is. It can be through a sermon. It can be through anything. It can be through any person. It can, can be through anyone. Have you ever been in church or been somewhere and something happens and it just hits your spirit? That's God speaking to you. So he wants you to actually track what he's speaking to you and you'll understand once you have a record of it how much he speaks to you how much he wants for you and what he says you'll look back and go wow and in that will be the start of your prevision and then from there you can you can work that thing. Um, when you see what he's speaking to you, you'll get a sense of your purpose and what he wants you to do. 
He loves you so much and he wants you to surpass your potential. Um, I was watching a preacher and he was talking about pot potential and um, the thing that occurred to me was the thing that God dropped in my spirit. He said, I don't want to live, I don't want people to live up to their potential. I want people to surpass their potential. Because in surpassing their potential, that means I'm involved. Because you can only take yourself a certain number of the way, but I'll take you the rest of the way. And there's so much inside you, beloved, that he wants you to harness and run with. Stop sitting on the potential he's given you and just embrace it. He wants you to embrace it because what you can't do, he can do. He just needs you to take the steps necessary. First of all, he wants you to write the vision down. He wants you to write what he's speaking to you down. And then he wants you to come up with a plan to fulfill whatever purpose he has for your life. Take care, everyone. See you later. Before I sign off, I'm going to pray for you. Father, I praise you and I worship you. And I pray that this word will go into the heart of at least one person. Um, I pray that they will run with what you've given them, Lord God. I pray that now that you're lifting burdens, I pray that you're restoring potential, Lord God. I pray that you're restoring their mind. I pray that you're transforming their mind. And I pray and I declare that they will be better than they've ever thought they could ever be. Lord God, I declare that visions and dreams are coming to them now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. Whoa. I pray for you. I declare I'm breaking. I declare a breaking of chains of God. Chains. The chains of apathy. The chains of, well, I can't do anything. You can do it exactly what he wants you to do. You've got enough to do exactly what he wants you to do. You don't need a lot. Little is much when God is in it. And he's waiting to realize how powerful you can be today, right where you are, right where he's placed you. You don't need a big job. You don't need that career. You don't, you don't need all that. All that is nice. But he, he's saying, what can you do today with what I've given you to forward you into your vision. He wants you to get a prevision for your life. Your life is too important and too valuable. All right guys, I'll see you later. Bye.